the colour palette for the Enchanting Hut is so pleasing. This is quite a pleasant episode of The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse. It's not one of my favourites, but I do like the colour palettes and the animation style. And I also really like Minnie Mouse in this. I think she gave a standout performance. This is the 12th episode, directed by Jason Riker with Paul Rudish as the supervising director. And Minnie and Mickey are enjoying a pleasant time on an island, uh, enjoying the beach and the waves. And then a storm in the distance threatens to move in. So they very hastily try and build a shelter. And it doesn't go to plan put it that way and it begins to become very chaotic i don't know what mickey's feeble attempt was as he was trying to prop sticks up while minnie was actually working really hard building these bricks and constructing these walls and really putting in a hard day's labor while mickey was playing with twigs but it's still not easy even though minnie's working very hard and the storm becomes closer there's a lovely bit where the storm has to um stop and take a drink to replenish because he's quite dehydrated with the effort he's making to move into the island. I can't, I like the, st the fact that the storm was a character in its own right. It's quite cute. The storm itself is actually, it's got quite a cute little design. Um, will they be able to finish this hut in time? Uh, I, of course, I'm not going to say, but I liked it. I thought it was quite a cute little narrative. Um, it felt longer than a lot of the other episodes. I don't think it was, but it felt longer, but not necessarily in a bad way. It just seemed to have maybe a few more layers to it, a little bit more rising, rising action here and there. I loved Minnie in it. I thought Minnie gave a very, very good performance and really worked hard. Mickey needed to pull his weight a little bit, but of, of course I really enjoyed uh, the character. The, the island scenery is very beautiful. A lot of things are personified. Um, I really enjoyed it. Definitely never going to be one of my favourites, but I think it was very well animated, uh, very well-structured narrative, a little bit intense. Were they going to get it finished in time? With the Wonderful World episodes, you never know because sometimes they have a really happy ending. Sometimes the endings are a little bit ironic. With the Enchanting Hut, I liked it from start to finish. Definitely not my favourite in the series, but still one that I found really pleasing to watch.